Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I want to talk about the quickest way to get ahead in Gems of War. We talk about this all the time on live stream, but the quickest thing, the, the first thing you should do in the game, this will progress your gameplay like by 10 times at least, but it is to get into a good guild. So today I just want to show you like how to know if you're in a good guild and also how to get into a good guild and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, the when you get onto the game, um, I, I get it man, you want to be a lone wolf, you don't really want to um, be tied to anybody else, you don't really want to be talking to other people, some people, you know, some people come to this game, they want to be social, some people come to this game, they think they're going to solo, but I'm telling you, solo is not the way. Way. there's tons of stuff in the game you can get from being in a guild that you can't get from being solo this is 30 other people combining together to get more resources and stuff done so you're pretty much handicapping yourself times 30 if you're not in a good guild so let's go over the ways first of all to get into a good guild and then we will kind of go over how to identify if you're in a good guild or not but yeah this is the number one thing as soon as you get on the game whether you're level 10 or level 100 like you need to get to a good guild as soon as possible and always be looking for a better guild so when i tell you like what's the things that you can you can tell if you're in a good guild or not that's how you're going to tell if you need to look for a different guild or not but one way you can uh, look for a guild of course is through the the game the game lets you uh i can't do it right now because i'm in a guild but you can find a guild through the game that's probably the worst way to do it it's the quickest way but it's probably the worst way um you'll go down and it'll it'll ask you to you know tweak the the settings like how you want a hardcore guild do you want a casual guild do you want requirements or not and just do it based on what you think you could do the the guild you want to be in is a guild where everybody's doing the same amount as you if not more you know what i mean so you want to get into a guild where you're comfortable with if there's any requirements um you're comfortable um if they're casual or hardcore just uh first thing you should do is just get in any guild you can and then after that the other ways I'm going to tell you, you can find another guild. But the second way, after you do that, and you continuously look for a better better guild through the game as well. But the second way to find a good guild in this game would probably be the Gems of War forums. Uh, I would just go to the forums and post on there that you're looking for a guild. There's a bunch of guilds on the forums that are looking for members. So you can go into their posts and see if you uh, meet the requirements. Sometimes they have a level requirement. Sometimes they have a like gold per week requirement for tasks and stuff like that so make sure you can definitely uh, meet those requirements but um yeah uh, i would do that go to the gemsofwar.com forum would be another good way to get into a good guild uh the third way to get into a good guild is probably like just going to global now this isn't a great way either but uh i don't even think i have global chat on right now but um if i turn it on rejoin global chat yes there's different channels on here, and depending on what channel you go to, you can just, in here, just say, hey, I want to join a guild, and somebody in this global chat will probably have either a guild for you to join, or they'll know what channel you should go to. There's different channels on here. I don't you go here, you type in the channel, and even maybe on the forum, there'd be people that have a certain channel that you can go to and whatnot. But yeah, so either through the game by searching in the guild uh, little menu here, or throughout through the forum the gems of war forum or through the global chat is is three of three ways you can do it the fourth way is come to my live streams um usually i have them on wednesday thursday and friday at 10 a.m est but in my chat we have a really good community and a lot of people from a different platforms and they'll find you a guild for example on my new account uh ben templar and john fitzpatrick they have a whole network of guilds for pc mobile there's eight different guilds it's the epic um epic guilds and you can join on in in the eighth guild it's like anybody can join there's really not very high requirements and then in the number one guild they're like a really high level guild that has high requirements and everything but those are pretty much the ways you can get into a good guild or any guild through the game through the guild menu um through global through the gems of war forum or in a chat on a uh, live stream for and my community i think is the best for that but yeah the benefits of being in a guild and how to tell you're in a good guild um first of all we have every 
Guardian at 200. Um, that gives you more mana surge and more uh, stats, I'm pretty sure. And it's a really good thing. So you want to make sure these are as high as they can get for you. That's one thing. Another thing is the guild tasks. People give a certain amount of gold per week to these guild tasks. You get them complete, you get certain items. Like if I was to complete this right here. You know, we would get three gem keys, a, a metal there, a token, and some trait stones, stuff like that. But everybody in the guild is contributing to this, and you'll get all the resources on Monday from everybody giving whatever the requirement is for the guild. Uh, in my guild, it is um, 750,000 gold. You can see on the bottom there, under like Artless X Arts's name there, it says suggested weekly targets, 750,000 gold, 2,000 guild seals, 300 trophies. And you can tell if you've met the requirement or not, which I probably haven't because this is only like Tuesday, but um, I met the gold requirement. I've met the trophy requirement. I'm just going for the seal requirement now. But that's where everybody will give a certain amount of gold to where you'll get these tasks done. You'll get the resources for doing the tasks from 30 people most of the time. I mean 25 to 30 people. So whatever you give, whatever gold you give, you're going to get way more back in return. And then when you take whatever you get back in return, you're going to go to like the guild event, like changing the weather here, which is a world event. And you shouldn't reinvest like whatever gems or whatever you got into more turns for this, because then you're going to end up getting rewards here for, you know, the guild collectively doing this. So if you invest, say, whatever, 30 gems, 100 gems into this, what you're going to get back is orbs of chaos, um more metals, event keys, diamonds, your gems back eventually probably, gold, more tokens, orbs, to a major orb of chaos. Like The return on investment is way better than what you're going to have to spend to do your turns and help the guild and everything. And in those events, you're going to want to do your share. You, know, you don't want to be at the bottom here. You want to be doing your share in these events as well. But yeah, so those are the good good things about being in the in a guild. Also the um the uh the seals. The seals your your guild will get to a certain chest level and you can get a bunch of good troops here. Um if your if your guild gets to level 6, which is like 40,000 seals. Uh, a lot of the lower level guilds, they might only get to like level 4, level 5, but even that's pretty good like um if we go to what is it this, you have a really good chance on chest level 6 of getting a mythic it's 0.11 percent which is one of the highest in the game i think other than vip keys so i always use these first whenever i'm trying for a new mythic and i usually get the new mythic so yeah everybody's also contributing to that in the guild they're contributing to the seals manage tasks and seals so you're going to give a certain amount to tasks so everybody can collectively get resources on monday and also get stats you get stats here when you get these done as you can see we have 4 armor, 4 HP, 3 attack, 4 HP, 2 magic, 4 armor, 4 armor, 4 HP. So just that right there being in a guild, you're getting those extra stats from the tasks that you wouldn't have if you were a lone wolf. Um, and then here, the seals, we're already at 40,000, which is the cap for the guild, and gets us to uh, chest level 6, which you can see here on the side here, chest upgrades. At the start, you can only get commons and rares. When you get 2,500, you can get commons, rares, and ultra rares. When you get to 5,000, it adds on epics. When you get up to 10,000, it adds on legendaries and mythics. When you get to 20,000, it takes off commons, so you have a better chance of getting the higher level stuff. Then when you get to chest level 6, it takes off the commons and the rares, so the, the worst thing you're going to get is an ultra rare. And that's a really good way to get a lot of troops in the game. And it only costs, like, what, uh, not very many to open up a chest. 1,000 thousand seals to get to get open 50 chests and if you're on chest level six that's really good and you should be getting at least 2,000 seals a week so you can open a hundred of these chests uh, and have a 0.11 percent chance to get a mythic um, every week so those are all the benefits of being in a good guild other also like just advice from your guild um, your guild will post teams in the guild chat uh, tower of doom you can't do that by yourself you got to have a scout that runs up the tower so you're going to need your guild for that just the task, getting the resources on Monday, getting the stats, all the stats you get from being in a guild, the mana surge you get from being in a guild, guild wars, you can't do guild wars without a guild, getting all that stuff, getting the events done, you wouldn't be able to do this on your own, you're not even allowed to do this event unless you're in a guild, 
and there's no way you're going to get it done if you just make up your own guild and you're the only person in it. There's no freaking way you're going to get this done, so you won't be able to get the major orb of chaos and all the good stuff here. Um, yeah, so all that kind of stuff, good reason being a guild. All On top of also the guild keys and being at chest level 6 and getting all the seals to open up guild guild chests and stuff like that. You'll get tons and tons of keys from being in a guild. That'll be some of the resources you get on Monday will be keys, and then you can get more troops and everything. So, yeah, make sure you get into a guild that you can meet the requirements. Everybody's doing the same as you or more. And let's identify, let's just talk about now, like, um, how you can tell if you're in a good guild or not. <clears throat> the number one thing that you're going to want to want to keep an eye on when you're when you're in a guild is the guild leader the guild leader is going to be a very important thing to keep your eye on to see if you have a good guild leader or not mr boomstick fancy pants is a really good guild leader and a good guild leader is going to set a attainable requirement that's not too high or too low as well as the other requirements there they're going to keep an eye on people and make sure they are doing what they're supposed to be doing and communicate with them if they don't give them i would say give them a little bit of a chance if they miss requirements one week maybe say hey you got another week if you don't if you don't meet them again they kick people out if they're not doing their share they are always recruiting people when they have an open spot so a good guild leader will keep an eye on everybody but not overly bug anyone, you know what I mean? So they're always making sure people are doing their share, and they're also rec always recruiting. They're kicking out people that aren't doing their share, and they're bringing in people that will do their share. So it's a very important thing to have a good guild leader. Uh, that's one of the most important things about... If you get into a guild and the guild leader is terrible, and they, they just kick people out randomly, or they never do anything, you do not want to be in that guild, I'm telling you. Try to find another guild either through the game or the forum or the chat or or live streams or whatever it may be just always be looking for a better guild don't be getting complacent not because your best friends there or whatever you can bring your best friend to that new guild that has higher requirements and you get more in return or or say you're in a crappy guild and you just have one or two good friends in that guild you don't want to leave them behind you can bring them with you even if there's not spots right away, you can always say, hey, when a spot's open, you can come to this other guild. We're just wasting our time here in this crappy guild, just me and you doing everything. You know, So that's the main thing, the guild leader. Uh, the second thing would be getting to 40,000 seals. That'll also tell you if you're uh, in a good guild or not. So number one, guild leader, kicking people out when it, it's deserved, setting attainable requirements, and rec always recruiting people. Good guild leader. Good communication, not overly like in your business, but also good communication and kicking people out when they deserve it, bringing people in when they need people, always looking for people. Good guild leader, number one. Number two, getting to 40,000 seals or whatever. I mean, if you're in a really low-level guild, it might only be 20,000 seals. It might only be 10,000 seals. But if you want to know if you're in a good guild or not, every good guild I've ever been in always gets to 40,000 seals every week by Sunday, usually very early. Like, it's Tuesday right now, and we're on 40,000 seals already. Um, that'll just give you more seals to spend on better chests. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, just getting the tasks done here. Like, a, a high enough requirement that you're getting at least the regular tasks done so you can get your stats. We don't ever really get all the legendary tasks done or anything. Like, we'll very seldomly get all the epic tasks done. So even in this very high level guild, we don't always get all the epic tasks done. But you wanna if you're if you wanna know if you're in a good guild or not, most good guilds are gonna complete these tasks right here. Like we have all the check marks. Make sure your guild is always getting all of these done. So yeah, guild leader, that's good. Um, always get into forty thousand seals, and always getting the normal tasks done. Those are three ways to tell you if you're in a good guild or not. Um, also, the events, always getting the events done. So you want to make sure your guild is always getting all the rewards for all the guild events. Uh, of course, once again, if you're in a low-level level guild, you may only get to stage 10, you may only get to stage 9, but just temper your expectations. If you're level 100, you may only get like stage 8 done. If you're level 500, you may only get stage 10 done. If you're level 1000, make sure you're in a guild that's getting all of it done every single week. That just means everybody's contributing and if you have 30 people contributing to this event, you should be able to get it done. But yeah, that's most mostly everything. Good guild leader, getting all the events done, getting all the regular tasks done, getting to 40,000 seals, 
Uh, guild Wars, making sure they're doing Guild Wars every time. You don't want to be in a guild that's not doing Guild Wars. Um, Tower of Doom, having a good scout that hits every single room. There's guilds out there that are good, but they don't even hit every single room. So if you want to make sure you're in a, one of the best guilds, uh, your scout will hit every single room and tell you what's in every single room of the Tower of Doom. Because if you don't do that, you're going to miss out on luck scrolls, you're going to miss out on heroic scrolls, fireball scrolls. You don't want a scout that's only telling you the unlock, because you're missing out on a ton of stuff that you could get the thing done quicker. But yeah, that's like the best way to progress in this game, the easiest way. The first thing you should do in this game is get into a good guild. That's, I'm telling you, it'll 30 times everything. If you're like, how in the crap am I ever going to get all these good mythics? Get into a good guild is the answer. If you're like, man, how come this guy hits this hard and has this many stats? Get into a good guild is definitely part of the answer. Give you more stats. Um, how does this person have all these orbs and keys and, you know, everything like that? Well, we're getting all the events done. We're getting orbs, you know, we're, do all, we're pooling our resources together as 30 people. You cannot be a lone wolf in this game. You just can't be. If you were a lone wolf, you wouldn't be able to do Guild Wars. You wouldn't be able to do Tower of Doom. You wouldn't be able to do any of the other guild events. You wouldn't get any tasks done. You wouldn't get anything in return. You wouldn't have anybody giving you teams or anything like that. It just wouldn't work. You're just handicapping yourself big time, times 30. Being in a good guild is one of the first best things you can do in this game, and I just gave you a bunch of ways to tell if you're in a good guild or not, and how to find a good guild. But yeah. Before we go, I want y'all to please pray for somebody. We all need to pray for Madman Babo because he is now a sinner and one with the choir, so Please pray for Madman Babo. Uh, hit that join button, the link in the description. It helps so much. It's dollars instead of pennies. I really, really appreciate it. Shout out to you, Madman Babo. Thank you for becoming a sinner and one with the choir. If you want to also become a sinner, you get emojis, you get badges, you get a shout out like this. You can get videos early and ad free. You can uh, suggest a video that I make if you go up to tier three. But just hit that join button, that blue join button, or the link in the description, probably in this video or any other pre-recorded video. And you can also become one of the almost sexy 60 uh, sinners. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Put it in the comments if I did forget anything. I'm sure I did. Uh, I'm trying to do this off the top of my dome. This comes up all the time in, in, li in my live streams. People, what, I tell them you gotta get in a good guild and you gotta always be looking for a better guild until you find your special guild where you're never gonna leave. And usually that involves a really good guild leader with high requirements that you can meet and everybody doing the same if not more than you in that guild. You don't want to be you don't want to be a big fish in a small pond and you don't want to be a leech that is not doing as much as everybody else. Just keep that in mind. Always at least be in the middle of the pack or higher. Don't be that leech just leeching off a higher level guild that you can't really meet the requirements for and don't be a big fish in a small pond cuz that's going to get you nowhere. Just find a better guild, get out of there, let somebody else be the big fish in the small pond. But anyway, please like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Get that guild and I'll see y'all next time. Put it in the comments. I'm sure I forgot something. Peace out.